हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फंक्शन इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग अ फंक्शन इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ कोड दैट परफॉर्म अ स्पेसिफिक टास्क सपोज यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ प्रोग्राम टू क्रिएट अ सर्कल एंड कलर इट यू कैन क्रिएट टू फंक्शन टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट अ सर्कल फंक्शन देन क्रिएट अ कलर फंक्शन डिवाइडिंग अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम इन टू स्मॉलर पार्ट मेक्स अ प्रोग्राम इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड री यूज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन एंड यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन आर ऑल्सो नोन एज लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन C has many inbuilt functions which can make our work easier and code readable. Inbuilt functions are already defined in C and could be directly used in the program. These functions are grouped in a library which can be accessed by including header files in our program. Header files for library functions in C programming C has many libraries with predefined functions in form of header files. To use these functions in a code, we need to include these header files. Header files contain definitions of the functions and data types which we could use directly in our program by including the respective header files. The syntax for including header files in a program hash include then file name dot h h is a extension all the header file should have a dot h extension now how to implement predefined library functions in c program we can implement predefined functions with the header file first header file is hash include std io.h this is the standard input output header file this header file contain the definitions of functions that perform input output operations such as scanf printf gets and puts function printf function prints the data onto the screen if you want to use the printf function then the file std io.h should be included If we try to use printf without including std io.h header file you will get an error let's see inside the main function use printf function to display hello on to the screen now run this code after the execution of this code hello is to be printed on to the screen if you want to use printf functions in the program then you have to include std io.h header file if we try to use printf function without including this header file then there will be a error similarly scanf function is used to read data from the user scanf function is for input declare one variable of integer type a is a variable of integer type now with the help of scanf function input the value of a and with the help of print a function display the value of a now if you want to use input output functions in the program then you have to include std io.h header file std io.h is a standard input output header file and this header file contain the definitions of functions that perform input output operation such as scanf and printf scanf is for input and printf is for output if you want to use scanf and printf functions in the program then we have to include the header file std io.h first of all input the value of a scanf function is used to read data from the user and then the printf functions is used to print data on the screen next example math.h this header file contain mathematical functions 
it contain functions such as square root power function exponent function log function sine function cos function now if you want to compute the square root of the number then you can use the sqrt library function and the function is defined in math.h header file let's see the program to find square root of a number first of all include the header file hash include math.h this header file contains mathematical functions then after that inside the main function declare one variable of double type double a sqrt function takes a double argument and return the square root first of all with the help of scanner function input the value of a then after that with the help of printf function display the square root percent is lf is the format specifier for double sqrt is the library function and sqrt function takes a double argument and returns the square root now run this code after the execution of this code first of all input the value of a then after processing square root of 25.545 is 5.054206 Now, if user input a twenty-five, square root of twenty-five is five point six zeros. Next is a power function. Power function takes two argument, the base and the exponent, and it return the value of the base raised to the exponent. Let's see the code. If we want to use power function in the program, then we have to include the header file. Hash include math dot h. In this case, declare three variables of double type. First variable is for base, and second variable is for exponent, and third variable is for output. First of all, with the help of scanner function, input the value of a and b. After that, write down the logic. C is equal to P O W. P O W is the function to compute the power of a number. And this function takes two argument. First argument is the base, and second argument is the exponent. Then after that, with the help of printf function, display the value of C. now run this code after the execution of this code first of all input the value of base then enter the value of exponent now 2 raised to power 3 result is 8 power function takes two argument the base and the exponent and it return the value of the base raised to the exponent In next video we will discuss about user defined functions in C program